capital punishment is a legal penalty in the U.S. state of Missouri and was first used in 1810 in the form of hanging. From 1810 to 1965, 285 people were executed. From 1976 to 1988 none were executed, and from 1989 to 2024 98 persons were executed. From 1937 until 1987 lethal gas inhalation was used. By 1987, inmates could choose lethal injection as opposed to lethal gas. On April 9, 2024, Missouri executed Brian Joseph Dorsey. Dorsey killed his cousin and her husband inside their central Missouri home two days before Christmas in 2006 leaving their four-year-old daughter alone in the home. Dorsey was convicted of killing Sarah and Ben Bonnie on December 23, 2006, at their home near New Bloomfield. Sarah and Ben Bonnie, and their daughter, went to bed. Dorsey grabbed a shotgun and shot the couple, after which prosecutors accused Dorsey of sexually assaulting his cousin. He then stole several items from the Bonnie's home including jewelry and their car, and attempted to sell them to repay his drug debt. On December 23, 2006, Brian Dorsey called his cousin, Sarah Bonnie, to borrow money to pay two drug dealers who were in his apartment. Sarah's husband Ben called his friend, Darren Carell, and told him that he needed help getting the people to leave Dorsey's apartment. Sarah and Ben drove to Dorsey's apartment. After the two drug dealers left the apartment, Dorsey went with Sarah and Ben to their home, where they were joined by Carell and several others. Sarah, Ben, Dorsey and Sarah's four-year-old niece, Jabe, stayed at Sarah and Ben's home. A day after the killings, Sarah Bonnie's parents went to check on the Bonnies after they failed to show up for a family gathering. They found the couple's four-year-old daughter on the couch watching TV. She told her grandparents that her mother won't wake up. The bodies were discovered after Sarah Bonnie's parents went to the home after the couple was missing from a family gathering on Christmas Eve. On December 26, Dorsey surrendered to police and admitted that he was the right guy concerning the deaths of Sarah and Ben. Dorsey was charged with two counts of first-degree murder. In March 2008, Dorsey pleaded guilty to both counts. Following a separate penalty phase trial, the jury assessed sentences of death for each murder, and the trial court sentenced Dorsey accordingly. Dorsey raises seven points on appeal. In one request for the Supreme Court's intervention, Dorsey's attorneys argued that the lawyers appointed by the Missouri Public Defender Office to represent him were paid a flat fee of $12,000 apiece, which presented a conflict of interest that pitted their personal finance interests directly against Dorsey's right to effective assistance of counsel. Dorsey's current attorneys told the Supreme Court in a filing that his appointed lawyers provided grossly deficient representation in a capital case and pressured their client to plead guilty with no agreement that prosecutors wouldn't pursue the death penalty. They argued in a second request that Dorsey has achieved remarkable redemption and rehabilitation in his more than 17 years on death row and the goals of capital punishment will not be furthered by his execution. Dorsey's attorneys also raised concerns about Missouri's execution protocol, which says nothing about the use of any pain relief. They described their client in court filings as obese, diabetic and a former user of intravenous drugs, all of which could make it difficult to establish IV lines for the lethal injection and may lead Missouri Department of Corrections employees to use cutdowns. A cutdown involves an incision, then the use of forceps to pull tissue away from an interior vein. A federal lawsuit on behalf of Dorsey argued that without a local anesthetic he would be in so much pain that it would impede his right to religious freedom by preventing him from having meaningful interaction with his spiritual advisor, 
including the administration of last rites. The execution took place on 6 p.m. April 9th at the state prison in Bon Terre. It is the first in 2024 in Missouri. Four of the 24 executions in the U.S. last year were in Missouri. Under the procedure, large incisions are made in the arms, legs or other areas of the body, and tissue is pulled away from the vein. A federal lawsuit filed on Dorsey's behalf in Missouri District Court alleged that no anesthetic is given during cutdowns, and the procedure occurs before an inmate meets with their spiritual advisor for the last time. Missouri executed 52-year-old Brian Dorsey on Tuesday the 9th of April 2024, despite pleas to spare his life from more than 70 correctional officers, a judge who upheld Dorsey's death sentence on appeal. Several jurors on the case and some of the victim's family members. Dorsey was killed with a lethal injection of pentobarbital. Punishment for killing his cousin and her husband in 2006 after binging crack cocaine, a drug that caused him to experience psychosis. Following the advice of his appointed lawyers, who were paid a flat fee, Dorsey pleaded guilty without securing a deal from the state to take the death penalty off the table. Dorsey and his attorneys cited his remorse. His rehabilitation while behind bars and his representation at trial by attorneys who allegedly had a financial conflict of interest as reasons he should not be put to death. But those arguments were insufficient to convince Governor Mike Parson, who said in his statement carrying out Dorsey's sentence would deliver justice and provide closure. In a final written statement before his execution, Dorsey thanked supporters who advocated on his behalf and apologized to the loved ones of his victims. To all of the family and loved ones I share with Sarah and to all of the surviving family and loved ones of Ben, I am totally, deeply, overwhelmingly sorry. Words cannot hold the just weight of my guilt and shame, Dorsey said. I still love you. I never wanted to hurt anyone. I am sorry I hurt them and you. To my family, friends, and all of those that tried to prevent this, I love you. I am grateful for you, he said. I have peace in my heart in large part because of you and I thank you. To all those on all sides of this sentence, I carry no ill will or anger, only acceptance and understanding. Dorsey was deeply remorseful for the murders. His attorneys said. His clemency petition claimed the killings occurred while Dorsey was suffering a drug-induced psychosis and alcohol-induced blackout after years of substance abuse aimed at self-medicating chronic depression. As evidence of his atonement, Dorsey and his attorneys pointed to his spotless disciplinary record and his work as a staff barber. For 11 years. Dorsey cut the hair of staff at the Potosi Correctional Center, including chaplains, wardens and corrections officers, some of whom wrote to the governor backing his quest for clemency. Brian Dorsey, 52, was pronounced dead at 6.11 p.m. after a single dose injection of the sedative pantobarbital at the state prison in Bon Terre. Dorsey took a few deep breaths as the drug was injected then several shallow, quick breaths. At one point he raised his head from the pillow and blinked hard. After several seconds, all movement stopped. A spiritual advisor seated next to the gurney continued to speak. It was unclear what he was saying the room is soundproof. The 52-year-old was served his last meal at 11 a.m. on Tuesday, the 9th of April 2024. He ordered multiple dishes of his favorite foods two cheeseburgers, chicken strips, two large orders of french fries, and a pizza with sausage, pepperoni, onion, mushrooms, and extra cheese. There are 13 people currently living under death sentences in Missouri, and 10 are eligible for execution. Thank you for watching Death Row.